Welcome to LearnAsLearn.com. Today I am going to show how to install IP Fire. IP Fire is a high-level flexible firewall. Uh, it works as firewall, VPN gateway, proxy server, DHCP server, time server, catching name server, and LAN, DDNS, open VPN, monitoring, and etc. Before that IP Fire installation, you must download IP Fire OS image file from official site and make it bootable USB or DVD. Insert that bootable media with your system and restart your system. After that restart, you can get this install welcome wizard. Here you just choose install IP fire. Just choose this and hit enter. Then you can get language settings wizard. Here you just your language. I'm choosing English and then hit enter. And then next you choose start installation and hit enter. And then you can get license agreement wizard. Um, here you choose accept that license by using space key and then hit ok then next you can get disk setup wizard you just enter delete all the data then next you can get file system selection you just choose ext4 file system now formatting is started ok now installation process completed once your installation process is completed, you can get congratulations wizard. You just hit enter for reboot your system. After the reboot, you can get keyboard mapping wizard. Here you just choose your keyboard language. I'm choosing US. Then next you can get time zone wizard. Here you choose your time zone region. Just choose and hit OK. And then set your IP fire host name. Then next you get domain name wizard. Just you set your domain name and hit enter for OK. Then next set your root password. And then hit enter. Then next you set your admin password. Which means web interface administration password. Just type your password and hit OK. Then next you can get network configuration menu. Here you can able to see green and red. Um, first green, green for local LAN connection and red for WAN, wide network connection. First you just select network configuration type. Just select green and red and drivers and card assignment. Just choose it. And you can able to see green and red and set. Now I am showing how to set. Just select the green. I set first card for green, second card for red. Next I choose red. Just select and hit enter. Okay, now you can able to see um, green network interface, red network interface. Set it successfully. Next you choose done. Just select address setting and then hit OK. Next I said IP address for green press OK to continue just type your green IP address then next hit OK then next you choose red here if you if you think um, set DHCP IP you just choose DHCP now I am choosing static and I set manually hit enter the next you choose done the next you set DNS and gateway settings just choose it and then hit enter now you can get DNS and gateway settings wizard just set your DNS I am set Google DNS after that just press OK but now network configuration completed the next you choose done then hit enter then next you can get DHCP server configuration wizard if you think configure DHCP IP you just press space for enable this service now I skip it just press enter for ok ok that's it we are almost completed our setup just choose ok to complete IP fire setup ok now it's completed you just type your login username just type root 
and then you enter your root password. Now IP fire installation completed. Then I am showing how to use and how to access it. Next we check IP address using if config command. Okay, then next I am showing to access web interface by using this green IP on client machine. Now I am switching to client machine and just open your browser and then type your IP address for the IP fire server. Just type like this and then hit enter. Okay, just give the permissions. Now it's ask authentication. Just type username admin and then type password. Now IP fire homepage is open. Uh, here you can choose any options if you want to set the proxy you just open this set your proxy configuration the next url filter the next uh, dhcp server you can be able to set dhcp the next services vpn and the next dns the next time server and then firewall you can be able to set rules now we check the status of the connections that's it friends i hope in this video can help you understand how to install ip fire and how to use it thank you for watching